So begin by right clicking and creating a cube, go to the face selection and select the top and bottom face, right click and intrude them a little bit, it doesn't really matter how much, select the entire object and then rotate around the Y axis 45 degrees, press space to deselect, I've got the Z axis pointing towards me, so if I select this outer edge, press loop, right click and rotate around the Z axis and peel the top out 45 degrees, the numbers on the top left there. Then I'll rotate my view around, press space to deselect, select this edge, press L for loop. Now the X axis here, so I'll rotate around the X axis and again peel the top out and I'll rotate it around 90 degrees and then rotate your view around again, press space, select this outer edge, press L for loop. Now I'm looking down the Z axis again, so right click, rotate around the Z axis I'm going to rotate that around 135 degrees and then press space to deselect everything and then select this edge and this edge, press L for loop, right click and loop cut. The bit that's uh, towards me I just need to hide it temporarily so I can get at this end face here and that's going down the X axis so rotate X and rotate it around 90 and then full 180. Then I'll bring the other bit that was hidden back again so using the geometry graph select the entire object right click and weld it back together select the entire object and press smooth twice and that gives me a mobius surface uv mapping select the entire object right click and then left click uv mapping right i've got to determine how i'm going to cut this up now i could use this uh, top edge here use loop and then mark that for cutting that doesn't in fact yet cut the shape up enough for me to extract the surface this is not really cut it in two because of the nature of the Mobius surface the inner and outer is continuous so I need to put at least one cut across here linking the other cut that goes around the outer edge so I'll just mark that for cutting and that will give me one surface that will be a strip that links back up with this cut here if I go now to continue by unfolding you can see it's sort of almost got there but it's a bit wonky and it's wonky in a way that be quite tricky to straighten out so what I can do is go back to my shape I'll select it you can see it's had a go but there's some distortion I'd like all these to be quite even so select my entire shape and then right click and on UV mapping you've got three options left click is generate UV mapping if you've not got a UV map texture if you have then it will take you into a mode where you can see the texture middle button will let you modify your existing cuts and the right button will start from scratch with the cutting well I'm going to use the middle button and just modify my existing cut so I'll find that one I had here and go to edge tool and then use loop to select and take it all the way round and then mark that for cutting and then I'll choose one opposite so I'm going to cut the surface up into four sections so go loop and then mark that for cutting so at this point now I've got four segments I'll right click continue by unfolding and these segments I can now uh, select and rotate to make them more or less horizontal select and rotate and get that one horizontal there this one rotate yeah, just averagely horizontal and rotate again so this the thing is now if I stitch these edges while they're looking a bit off at an angle and it's going to curl up again so I'm going to straighten those up so if I select this vertical line here in the middle of each one of these segments and then press L for loop and then G and then scale them vertically no 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 scale them horizontally I always choose the wrong one then that will give me the lines vertical if I choose a horizontal scale of zero at this point now if I start stitching them together at least they'll join up in a straight line I can do that by using a rubber band over the end here and then press minus key so the selection just that end and then right click and stitch and then I can just keep doing that so I press a minus key and stitch and rubber band over the end and then go minus key and stitch and then select the entire thing and scale to max uniform okay so you can see it's still a bit wonky but I can correct that by, I need to select, I think, the horizontal line. That's it. If I select the horizontal lines now, go L to select it all the way along its length, and then G to make sure it's all the horizontal lines. Right click and then scale vertically. Yep, yeah, okay. Then it always seems to be the opposite one to the one you'd think. Tab 0, that's straightened them all out. Now, the only other thing is that these vertical lines are not very evenly distributed. But with the horizontal line selected, it must be something to do with the vertexes that are. Uh, selected at this point we go distribute and horizontal it'll distribute those up 
nice and squarely. So if I use the uh, view here, just hover my mouse pointer on this left hand view, you can see that it, things are looking quite even, the squares, uh, there's not terrible distortions by the looks of it. Um, perhaps, you know, a little bit of compression here. And uh, you can see this is where the joins occurring, so you've got to bear in mind that the, the topo topology, geometry, topologies uh, of the surface anyway, of the Mobius strip has some unusual uh, properties. So uh, I imagine the texturing get to, could be quite a challenge. We'll come around to that. When I have a go at the end of this video, I'll, I'll texture it up and see what uh, results I get. So if you want to create a texture for this, just right click on this box here, create texture, and you could choose to have um, your options here, color or image. So you could choose this grid of, of letters if you want to. You can just have a plain color. And you can also choose whether you have uh, the, the, the edges or the borders. So for the grid so if I just choose that that gives me like a template I can close that and if I want that template to be outside so I could just say uh, make external then I can work on that and it'll it'll be referenced when you create the object for exporting so if I'll just save that and then go file and export object into the same directory where that was saved so we call this uh, Mobius strip then that'll be ready to import into whatever render engine I want to use for uh, final rendering. So there you go, that's how you go about UV mapping a Mobius strip in Wings 3D.